Hey there, Captain Giddies. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'll be discussing my thoughts on episode 10 of the anime series, Are You the Scarlet Ammo Double A? And we're finally getting so many answers in this episode. Um, just, it's quite intriguing. The back history of Akari, her sister, and this Kyo, this enigmatic, villainous figure who is part of the EU, you know, who has been after Arya, if you go back to, like, the first season and everything, Rico and everything like that. She's effectively made her move and tried to take Arya out for the count, and this has left Kyo completely open to go after Akari, and we're finding that this is something that is centuries old. You know, talking about centuries back when there were shogunate spies and samurai and all that kind of stuff, there were these oppositioned clans, you know, these opposing clans that were fighting to be the most powerful. And, and you know, one of the hot commodities was the techniques by which you would use per your own clan to bring about death, to secure your own power. And we're very much talking about just a few years ago or a couple of years ago, as per the dialogue with Cardi in this episode, you know, did their home village come under the attack, the Mamiya clan that they're a part of, come under the attack by Kyo, who was very desperate to find out their own clan's techniques and everything like that. And she basically, using poison, which is one of the, you know, chief aspects of this particular technique, she already sort of cast a spell, if you will, on Nanaka, you know, Akari's sister, so that she has been faltering over the last couple of episodes as I've gone back and forth with one of you guys in the comments talking about how noticeable that's been and like what's going on with that, what influence might be in play there. It is this poison, this slow-acting poison over a length of time has now finally caught up with Nanaka and she's losing potentially her eyesight. She's on her deathbed for all intents and purposes. We find out through Fuma's dialogue, which was quite surprising, that this was something that related back to her clan. So we can assume that Kyo has been going around and like manhandling as many of these clans, <laughs> these opposing factions as she can, and stealing their secrets, trying to become the utmost powerful in poison manipulation, she has a very specific, you know, character specific to her obsession with using poison techniques and everything like that, um, and how to utilize those in battle and just become that much more powerful through the use of them. And it's just quite intriguing. I mean, she comes off as such a psychotic in this episode. <laughs> Like, even more so than the Yandere stuff they've been doing earlier in this season, you know, with Jokichiko and, and Shino being obsessed with Akari. We have, here here we have Kyo being very much obsessed along those lines, but it's even deeper. It's even beyond that in the sense that she wants to, you know, have Akari join. She wants to be able to utilize Akari's clan's secrets and everything like that. She's even made off with one of their books I guess, cataloging all of this information. But there are certain aspects of it she can't learn through the dialogue and through the texts contained within, so she needs Akari to a point. And she's obsessed with Akari very much as we've seen these other characters being for that reason. And there's also a sexual connotation as well. Because, I mean, once you have all of these characters coming together, Arya giving this speech of empowerment, giving us the titular double A thing, where that came from, you know, this is the mission now. It's double A. It's Arya and Akari going after these EU bastards, you know, effectively <laughs> together. They're going to take down their respective arch nemeses, you know, by themselves. But we do see that, in fact, Akari's got all of her friends, you know, for all of that crazy and that stuff that's been going on, as I've talked about, there is a sisterhood that has formed here, and Akari is backed up by all of her friends. You know, it's one of those things where they've all, they've all come together. They're all gonna, you know, help in this effort to take Kyo down and try to save Nanaka's life, and it's kind of inspiring that. But as you know, you have Akari going in and encountering Kyo. I mean, she's all like roving around naked and she's putting her clothes on and like there's an element of it's almost as though she's trying to seduce Akari and sidewind her and uh hoping that this will have an effect you know as far as seducing her over to the dark side for lack of a better term you know um give me all of your secrets I want you as well and you know she's getting very fondly on Akari and everything and Akari holds her own I mean you know she's backed up by all of these other girls 
but she's holding her own for the most part, and we just basically leave off with the cliffhanger of the potential battle to come. And so I'm highly curious to see where exactly this electricity ability that we've seen Akari wielding will come into play, if it will come into play, if this is an extension of those techniques. I mean, you see her in being trained by their mother, you know, like a twist of the hand and she creates an explosion in like a tree. If you think of this happening to a human being, the chest would explode if you hit him in that space. Um, you, you see Akari being able to like leap up and take out the heart of a doll, you know, uh, amongst this training and, and all this kind of stuff. And she didn't seem to be very well learned or sustained susceptible to learning how to exactly manipulate the poison stuff. So is this going to be something she can even bring to the table? Would she be able to even, if she were willing to partner with Keo and, you know, submit to Keo's plan, would she even be able to? Is this knowledge she actually readily contains or is it something, as she says, she suppressed because of her need to not take lives? You know, this was something passed down by her mother, it was centuries later, and they're still teaching these techniques. It's much like the martial arts, where it's something that people, you know, aggressively learn for themselves. And there's a level of uh, meditation equivalent in learning that, you know, the, the art and the study of how to use your body in certain, you know, momentums and, and motions and all that kind of stuff. And from muscle relaxation to just a relaxation of conscience, and it seems almost as though that was kind of the Mamiya clan's thing by this point. You know, they were teaching these techniques, but they were never meant to be utilized at this stage of the game unless it was absolutely necessary to actually take lives and cause harm. And that's exactly what seems to be the driving force behind Kyo herself. You know, she wants to cause as much harm and wreak as much, much havoc as she can. And so the opposing sort of ideologies there between Akari and between Kyo, I mean, even if Akari was willing, as I say, I doubt she would have been able to bring that to the table satisfactorily enough for Kyo to be pleased, you know, so it would be a battle one way or the other. And as we get into this, you know, final stage of the game, Kyo has this very ominous ninjutsu ninja-like thing where she, you know, she's almost like an apparition. She can disappear. There was that great shot where she's leaving the hotel room key for Akari uh, when Takachiho is, like, ready to gun her down and everything. And as the key is falling, we see her disappear. And in the PV for the next episode, there's a few shots where people are getting close to her and she's disappearing left and right. And uh, she's almost ghostly, or maybe she's super fast, whatever it is. There's something supernatural potentially going on there. And um, I'm hoping we're going to delve into more of that uh, aspect of it. You know, what are the limitations and how all-consuming are her powers and abilities and how does this conflict and coincide with Akari's own? Will we see this electricity power or maybe even more? Any which way you want to define it, I mean, we're finally back to the meat and potatoes of this story. It's been a little loosey-goosey all along the course, uh, you know, where it pertains to the drama and the more action-y elements of the plot. But now that we're back to it, it's like mad exciting. I'm at the edge of my seat, and I want to see where it all goes from here. Love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of episode 10, Vary the Scarlet Ammo AA, if you've seen it, if you enjoyed it as much as I did, if you were as compelled by it as I was, and uh, are just gunning. <laughs> you know, no pun intended to see where it all goes in its finale. And uh, whether you have any speculations to put forth about how much of those powers and abilities of both Kyo's and Akari's we will see in action by the end. And otherwise, that'll be pretty much it for me on this. Uh, bring on the next one, most deaf, and I will catch you all later. Peace.